Hi guys, it's Shay from The Sleepless Planner and today I am sharing my 100 day project art journal with you guys. So this is long, long, long overdue. Um, there are four inserts that I handmade as well as the, the book that it's bound in. Um, and then the fifth one was kind of an afterthought because I apparently don't know how to count and I ran out of pages. So um, I took forever to post this because um, my original challenge was simply to draw faces. I wasn't obligating myself to paint them or to do anything extra. I wanted it to be a relaxed challenge where my only commitment to myself was to draw one face every day. At some point I decided that I was going to add words to the back side of the pages and this is one of the reasons why I have been so late to share this. It's because a lot of those quotes are either incomplete or I really didn't like try very hard to make the lettering like properly spaced or even pleasing to the eye as far as I'm concerned anyway. So um, it's kind of hard for me to look back at these pages and, and see that I kind of wish that I hadn't done that lettering or that I had done it and been a little bit more conscious of, of spacing and, and things like that that I knew would irritate me later on. There are also some pages where I haven't even erased the previous pencil marks and like I could have done all of this um, if my lazy bones didn't work the way that they do, I could have done all of this before I decided to do the flip through, but let's be honest. Well, I just knew that if I just didn't like film this flip through as is, that it probably would never see the light of day. And there have been some people that were following along with um, my postings during the challenge on Instagram and had requested to see what the final product ended up looking like. For the most part, I really am happy with the final outcome. The purpose of the challenge was really accomplished for me. Trying things that I had never done before, like longer necks, bigger heads, square shaped eyes. Um, I think going into the project, that's what I had hoped for. I hoped that by the time that I was done, that I would have, um, you know, quote unquote, mastered um, the ability to draw a face. I'm not sure that I am there yet, but I definitely feel that I can tell the difference between day one and day 100. So needless to say, I enjoyed this challenge from beginning to end. At no point did it feel like a, just like a deadline that I had to check off or like a chore or like something that I just couldn't wait till it was over. It was really just such a fun process all the way through. And I would definitely recommend it to anyone who is interested in seeing what it would look like if they dedicated 100 days to their particular interest. Considering that I've already done this and assuming that some of you may not have or have considered it and have been on the fence I'm going to share a few things that I learned that I think will be helpful for you to start your own 100 day project and feel confident that you can accomplish it because you can. So in no particular order, first, pick something that you can be excited about doing every day. Improving my skill in drawing faces was something that I was really interested in. So for me, that was pretty much an obvious choice. Also because 100 days of washing dishes didn't really appeal that much to me. No shade if that's your jam. Second, give yourself uh, parameters that, that are flexible with like your lifestyle and your job. Try not to choose a challenge that is too confining or that requires materials that are not easily packed and taken with you. Because one of the things that allowed me to remain committed and consistent to the project was 
how easy it was for me to sit down and draw anywhere that I had a spare few minutes. So that could be the playground, that could be waiting in line at the post office, that could be on a bus ride or a train ride, you name it. Because I only needed three things, my insert, a pencil, and a pen. And the pen was even optional. So try to have supplies that are lightweight and compact and that you can take with you. Number three, find support. Um, you may know that my friend Anna, who I will tag here, she also participated and it was super helpful to have her as an accountability partner and we were able to keep each other motivated and inspired. I would also recommend that you check out the 100 Day Project hashtags, there's a 100 Day Project group, and try and, and interact with other people that are participating in the challenge. Um, and that will also help you as far as accountability and motivation and inspiration and, and just to kind of keep you going by seeing all the interesting things that everyone else is creating. Not everyone is painting, not everyone is um, doing something that's necessarily artistic. Um, so it's really interesting to see the different things that people will do for 100 days. Number four, I would probably recommend also that you not go out of your way purchasing new materials, you know, unless you really want to. I mean, if you want to and you can, live your life. But there is really no need to get supplies if it is something that you're already interested in because chances are you already have those things. All right, and number five, the last thing that I will offer on this topic is to relax. Try to enjoy yourself. It's a challenge that's meant to encourage you to spend time doing that thing that you love. So it should be something that you look forward to doing. It shouldn't be something that stresses you out or that makes you feel like you're missing on a deadline. And yeah, it's the 100 day project and technically it starts on a specific day, but you can do any 100 days that you like. You don't necessarily have to participate in the challenge when it begins in April. You can begin your personal 100 day project today and you can create your own rules. Maybe it's 100 pages, but they don't have to all be in consecutive days. Maybe you want to do a 50 day project, you know, to challenge yourself in, you know, in less time. Be flexible with yourself, enjoy the process, and show me what happens when you're all done by um, tagging me on Instagram, or if you have a hashtag, let me know, because I want to see it. And that's it guys, I'm going to leave you here. I hope that you found this uh, video to be helpful and that you enjoyed it. And I really hope that you decide to try the challenge for yourself. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like this video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you'll consider doing so. And also follow me on Instagram and we can talk more about this project on a personal level. See you next time. Bye.